Okay, this is my initial impressions of the Cosmos Elite wireless with the wireless adapter. Uh, yeah, sound quality is okay, pretty good. Uh, picture quality is pretty good. Uh, wireless being wireless is fantastic. So this is basically your only choice, I think, at the moment. But I really, really had to jam this cable in the short cable here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, the short cable that leads into the headset. This one. I had to really jam that in to get this thing to work. And I also had issues with the PCIe wireless adapter because I had to use an M2. Okay, but in the 2020 Hong Kong version, uh, they give you like two, two batteries. So you get one in the original Vive kit and one an extra one in the adapter kit. Uh, not so keen on the ones. They're okay. I've modded these so you can use them like the knuckles. So, so because sometimes you don't know which um, hand you're going to be in. You want to be able to yeah, hold it like this. Yeah, I don't like the this button here. This button here. Trackpad's okay, a bit smooth. Maybe I'm just used to the Windows Mixed Reality because the Samsung Odyssey, you know, controllers. While the tracking wasn't fantastic, it was okay. Uh, yeah, the tracking with the base stations is not too bad. Uh, but I've got them about 5.6 meters away from each other because otherwise I'd have to start drilling uh, so maybe that's probably just out of spec because so I think it's supposed to be about 5 meters uh, but it seems to work mostly um, yeah so uh, what else yeah so it's pretty expensive and I'll try and compare this to um, the valve index when I get it but obviously that's not wireless yet um, and my intention is to yeah definitely replace the ones with the knuckles